hello everyone last tutorial we have seen how to apply load for a website so there we have created HTTP request manually and just apply load for launching if suppose there is a scenario for example uh, we have to search something then we need to get the result so if for example if there is a scenario oh, we can do it manually but there is a better way to record as well okay so so once you open this is the default view you just right click on test plan add a thread group and right click on test plan just remember this you should go to non test elements so you should add HTTPS test script recorder okay so if you right click on thread group you won't get that options only from the test plan you will get that non test elements okay under the thread group you should add a lo to logic controller and recording controller so http test script for recording the like uh, website actions ui actions whatever you used to do the target controller where we used to store all the recording uh, like HTTP request so that we have to mention anyway we have added a recording controller under thread group choose this now the port number is double eight double eight so now we have to set up a, a, like a proxy in Chrome browser I'm using Chrome browser so go to Chrome preference you search just proxy when you click on it so in Mac you will get a web proxy localhost the port number is double eight double eight for example window like listen guys for example if you guys are using Windows so it will open a network adapter setting there you just click on manual proxy and in host you had localhost and port you have to add double eight double eight just apply and click ok in windows same here web proxy localhost double eight double eight click ok apply done then here you should start see before without start if you do oh, whatever action in browser nothing will record you should start then just refresh you can see some request is recorded and next I am choosing Boston and London so there is a demo site from blaze meter actually so that I am utilizing here so choose your depot city it's like a simple flight search uh, website I have destination city also I have choose find flights so here is the like a list of flights and uh, choose this flight maybe I can enter something like uh, the address is like uh, Bangalore something like Bangalore Karnataka visa card simply this is a test website so some random number I'm giving yeah any name John just do purchase flight okay thank you for your purchase today that's it this is like you have done it using browser one, uh, just once so here you can see the four request you got it okay now we can stop this so under the thread group I can create a simple controller so select this four just copy just move under simple controller okay recording controller is no use now let it be no problem again 
so if you are running again we need to listen what's happening so add the listener so as of now thread group let it be one so you need to save it maybe search flight just run it okay so now you can see the response data unreserved purchase confirmation so if you see the post data when we are purchase we have sent uh, like uh, like source and destination location so in the request itself you can see here choose reserve so you can see from port and to port so we are sending the Boston and London and purchase we have sent uh, same it will return the flight flight ID and price airlines everything the confirmation we whatever we have entered the user detail it's sent so the request detail we have sent all this so after run you will get the uh, all this response so whatever the HTML page view so the JSON value also included in this okay maybe you can check some values from here maybe yeah your flight from Boston has been reserved so you can see the text same as here thank you for your purchase today or if you have doubt you can copy this text okay this is for a third one sorry can see here I think all the detail thank you for purchase today okay that's it guys so you can record any scenarios and uh, then you can modify all this thing so so here you can you guys can ask how to put uh, like 10 user you can just make it 10 so it will work but if you want to if you want to uh, like uh, the data the data should be different different for each uh, each request for example 10 user means 10 user data should be different so for that i think uh, we can cover it in next uh, tutorial so next tutorial we can see more component we can try to utilize more component okay thank you guys if you like it please subscribe the channel as well for more videos thank you